Let's go through the initial setup wizard for the DVR and become acquainted with the live view icons and controls. Before you begin, ensure that you've completed the steps outlined in the previous segment, Hardware Quick Start Guide. You can access your router. Your DVR is connected to the display and the wizard is shown on screen. You have a computer with internet access to create a new email account. When you first turn on the DVR, it will automatically boot to the setup wizard. Enter a new password with a minimum of six characters and then confirm the password. Don't forget to write down your password. Now, select Next to proceed. Next, select your preferred language. Now select the correct video format for your region. Then select the appropriate resolution for your TV. 1920 by 1080 will suit most televisions. If your TV supports 4K, choose from 2K or 4K to take advantage of a higher resolution stream. Now select the appropriate time zone for your region. Then select your preferred date format. Next. Select your preferred time format. Now give your DVR a relevant name or leave it as is. The P2P ID or QR code are unique identifiers for your DVR. You can scan the QR code on screen or on your DVR when configuring the Home Safe View app for easy setup. Select Next to continue. Your DVR requires a free Gmail or Outlook email address to send alerts and facilitate password reset requests. We recommend creating an account devoted to your DVR. We'll show you the example using a Gmail account and show you the settings for the alternate account types on your screen so you can follow along. In the Email field, select Enable. Leave the Encryption field as is. In the SMTP port field, input 00587. In the SMTP server field, enter smtp.gmail.com. In the username field, enter the email account's username. In the password field, enter the email account's password. In the sender field, enter a name you wish notifications to be addressed from. In the receiver field, select an email to send notifications to. In the interval field, select the amount of time that must elapse before another alert will be generated. Now, select Test Email. If the test is successful, you will receive a notification on the screen. If you received an error, ensure that you entered the correct email address and password, and also check all your cables and connections. Then check the back of your DVR to ensure the LEDs above the Ethernet port are flashing. If not, unplug and replug the cable. You may also want to try a different port on your router. Also, check your email settings to ensure access for less secure apps is enabled. After receiving a successful test notification, select Next to continue. Now in the NTP field, select Enable to allow the DVR to automatically sync its clock with the time server. Then, select Update Now. Select Next to continue. Then in the DST field, select Enable if you wish to apply Daylight Savings Time. In the Offset field, select the amount of time that Daylight Savings Time is increased in your time zone. In the Start, End Time fields, select when Daylight Savings Time starts and ends. Now select Save and then OK. If you reach the video resolution during the wizard, select OK to apply the setting. Congratulations! Your DVR is now ready to record video upon motion detection, send email alerts when an event has occurred, and is ready to connect to the HomeSafe View app. You're now ready to download the HomeSafe View app for your Android or iOS mobile device. Watch the segment HomeSafe View app for more information.